This is a sawbones demonstration of the Osseo Fiber 4.75 suture anchors in an Achilles double row repair. The first anchor we're going to place is a proximal anchor right underneath the tendon. We start by drilling with a drill and drill guide to the drill stop. We next are going to insert the eyelet into the prepared hole and then we're going to mallet down until the first couple of threads reach that hole. Then grabbing the handle with one hand, you're going to turn the knob clockwise and the anchor will start to thread itself into the pilot hole. You're going to bottom out once the white inserter reaches the surface of the bone. You can remove the suture cartridge yo-yo, place the sutures out of the way, pull the pull tab to remove the stay suture and release the inserter. Now you can use or you can remove the internal stay suture. The needles are housed inside the suture cartridge and you can start passing your needles at this point. Typically they're placed in a pattern that will optimize the uh, compression footprint of the tendon. So in this case we've already passed the first needle and now we're passing the second limb. We're going to place a second proximal anchor in the same manner as we did the first one. You're going to utilize the drill and drill guide. You're going to drill to the positive stop just underneath the tendon. Next you'll take the distal end of the eyelet, insert it into the pilot hole, and you're going to mallet down and you want those first couple of threads to engage into the pilot hole. You turn the knob and you'll see the anchor going into the bone. You want to do this until the white inserter reaches the surface of the bone. Now you know you're seated. And you'll remove your pull tab, your yo-yo, and you'll get your limbs out of your way. Next we're going to pass the needles in the same manner as we did on the first anchor, just in the opposite directions. Now this is a good opportunity to check where your limbs are located. You're going to grab one limb from one side and you're going to grab a limb from the other side and you're going to start crisscrossing and you can approximate these limbs down to where the distal anchors are eventually going to be. And once you do this you can kind of pull the tendon down and you can see here that it lays down nicely. At this point you can cut the needles and cut as close to the needles as you can because you, you use those limbs for suture passing. Now we're going to place the distal anchors. You're going to do this the same as before by drilling using the drill and drill guide and drill to a positive stop. Next you're going to grab the free limbs that you cut the needles and put them through the snaring mechanism. You'll do this and then pull the tab by holding the limbs and usher them through the eyelet as shown. You want to make sure that the suture is freely moving within the eyelet and you're going to insert this now the same manner as the other anchors by malleting and ensuring that the distal threads are engaged into the bone and then you'll start turning the knob as before and ensure the white tip of the inserter reaches the bone and remove the pulling tab as before. The final distal anchor is placed in the same manner as the previous. Drill, drill guide to the positive stop, snare, place the eyelet into the pilot hole, mallet the anchor into place, making sure that the first couple of threads are engaged to the hole, turn the knob and thread the anchor into place until the distal end of the inserter reaches the surface of the bone. You can take the remaining sutures that you laid in the midline to repair the midline incision. And this is done uh, with a crisscrossing pattern of number two round sutures. So as seen here, you just basically needle a crisscross with one color and come back with the uh, opposing color to create the closure suture technique that's desired. Once complete, you can then start tying the knot at the upper part of the incision by throwing three to four knot throws. And when you're done, you can just cut any unused limbs. You can see here your final construct is complete and your tendon is laying down nicely.